What's up guys and welcome to this edition of Hyclopedia. I am in the United Kingdom, yes, Great Britain. I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm doing a food challenge. Um, it's a local pub that's uh, quite an institution in this part and it's called Mad O'Rourke's and it's over there. So let's go over and check it out. This place is famous for the Desperate Dan cow pie um, and I'm going to give that a go. It's basically a massive steak and kidney pie and it's got pastry horns and it's in a big dish and um, you used to get a certificate if you finish it but now I'm not sure but uh, we'll find out in a bit. This place um, is a bit of an institution in the Midlands and um, it's really good. It's like good honest food and a uh, nice atmosphere and uh, good value for money and that's why it's always busy. And the smell, just standing here near the kitchen, the smell coming from the kitchen, absolutely delicious. It's really meat smell. Mm. Now this place also has their own beer. It's called Lumpama and they've got four varieties of it. I've ordered a Lumpama Gold because I'm driving so I don't want to get too drunk. Thank you. Oh my God. So my cow pie has arrived. It is very hot, burning my hand. It's four pounds, that's two kilograms of steak and kidney. If you finish it, we get a certificate. So uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yo, it's so full. I'm gonna let some air out for her. This challenge is known as the Desperate Dan Cow Pie Challenge, which will mean absolutely nothing to younger viewers. <laughs> wow, this thing's so packed. It's so, look at it! Oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, this pie was absolutely stuffed with steak and kidney. Four pounds of it, in fact. That's two kilograms in pre-Brexit language. Oh, and there are a few vegetables inside too, which contributes nicely to your five a day. There's enough to feed a family of five in here. <laughs> About the challenge, unfortunately you don't get a t-shirt or the meal for free if you finish, but as I said, you do get a certificate and a sense of satisfaction knowing that for just £13 you get to eat enough food to feed a small African country for a month. Wow, look, there's a whole potato in there. <laughs> Finally, my first piece of kidney. This was the first food challenge I've ever done, so I tried to employ tactics that I'd seen in other food challenge videos. I like to stir it up a bit, let it cool down. Yeah, it's so hot. So hot. Anyway, today's video is a kind of homage to my favourite competitive eater, Beard Meets Food, whose videos I've been watching a lot of recently. In case you don't know, he's an English guy who travels around the world completing food challenges. He's also a pretty funny guy, so if you've never heard of his channel, you should go over there and have a look. Seriously, there's so much meat in this pie. Yeah. It's really nice as well, right? Slow cooked beef melt in your mouth. As I said, this pie was delicious. Tons of slow cooked beef. It was so flavorful that at this point I was really enjoying it. Um, I'm feeling good. 
So far. I mean, you I might hit the wall soon though. You never know. <laughs> A bit about Maddow Rocks. This place is an institution in the black country where I hail from, but it's also a cautionary tale for businesses. Years ago, it was an extremely successful chain of about six or seven pub restaurants, built up from scratch by the owner, who then made the mistake of selling them to an F&B group, who promptly ruined them. The pie factory was then bought by a former employee, who has returned it to its former glory. At this point in time things had been going quite smoothly but I was beginning to feel quite full and a bit uncomfortable. It was a hot day in the UK and the pie factory is an old building, no aircon and very little ventilation. It was getting hot and sweaty, however I was determined to finish as I only had a few mouthfuls left. I've only got like about three more mouthfuls and a horn. That's it. I can help you with the horn. No, you're not. I'm really struggling now, but I'm going to do it, I think. This is where things really slowed down. I started drinking water instead of beer, burping regularly, and taking long breaks in between mouthfuls. I need to stand up a bit. <laughs> My nephew, who was also trying the cow pie challenge, had given up by this point, but I was nearing the end. Now was definitely not the time to give up. Okay. All the meat is gone, just got the horn to eat. I'm feeling better since I stood up actually. Yeah. Yeah. The pastry horn however was a real struggle. It was dry and quite hard to eat. I've got to stand up again. Another few moments upright really helped to create space in my gut for the last push, but by this time I had slowed to almost a crawl and was quite glad that this wasn't a timed challenge. The dry pastry was making me gag and I regretted not soaking the horn in the pie like I did with the first one. Still, I was almost there. Alright, here we go, last one. Last mouthful. Desperate Dan Cow Pie Challenge. Done. Would you like a medal? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. He's done it. He's done it. Can I just show my plate to them? <laughs> Finished. Oh, he's got cat. Would you like your certificate? Yes, please. Oh, my God. That was tough. It wasn't tough. Four pounds of pie. And it was uh, it was nice, but by the end of it I was feeling a bit. Mm. I did it, so now I'm gonna get my certificate. Oh. Hey, thank you. I need to go for a walk now. Alright guys, that's it for today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, support the channel. There's three ways, you know by now. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. I'm going to walk home now because I'm so full. Over and out.